So, welcome to my kitchen. I have only filmed one video in here before, and that's it. I did the Baby Food Challenge last year, and I just... I don't film in my kitchen regularly. So the lighting's a little weird, but today I'm going to make my family recipe for strawberry mousse. It is amazing. It is the best dessert ever, and I really wanted to share it with you guys. I've got my Easter Bunny hat on, and I'm wearing a pink cardigan just to kind of get in the Eastery mood. <laughs> I have to make uh, the strawberry mousse for dinner tomorrow with my brother and his family, so I figured I would take you guys along. So if you're interested in learning how to make the simplest, easiest, most delicious strawberry mousse you've ever had in your entire life and keep watching. The first ingredient you're gonna need is obviously strawberries because this is a strawberry mousse. What I like to do is use one pint of strawberries for inside the recipe and I do get a second a uh, pint of strawberries to decorate the top, but I'm gonna get into that later. And the strawberries you don't actually need until later on in the recipe. Right now to start, what you're gonna need is one bag of puffed marshmallows, and I get the little tiny ones, and any brand will do. Uh, you need two packages, you need two packages of lady fingers that looks like this. Now the lady fingers are two rows, and so they're four, they're four um, in, in total, if that makes sense. They're two double rows, and I get two whole packages. So you'll need two packages of those. And you also need a one whole container of Cool Whip, which I have in the refrigerator right now because if I bring it out, it'll melt and we don't need it until much later on. So, oh, and you need water. Nice, fresh, clean water. You do not want to drink unfiltered water because here on Long Island, it gives you, I don't know, the big C. You know what I'm saying? Big C. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, guys, so you're going to want to go ahead, turn that burner on high. Which, get all fabulous, I have to blow on it. Okay, so you're going to need four cups of water. Now you're going to start off with uh, four cups of water. Okay, and you're going to want to go ahead and let that boil. Once this comes up to a boil, we're going to go ahead and add the jello. Okay, so now that the, boil, uh, the water is essentially boiling, it's like simmering, but the water is so low that it's hard to tell. I just take the whole jello uh, packet and I dump it right into the water. Ooh, just like that and mix away and you want to stir it and make sure that it is completely dissolved you don't want any of those particles at the bottom okay now that that is fully dissolved I'm going to just reduce the heat to about medium and I'm gonna open the bag of marshmallows and I'm going to slowly Add, oh, marshmallow overboard. Okay, I'm going to slowly add the marshmallows in to dissolve and, and mix them and dissolve them. Now, you're going to see these melt pretty easily, but it does take a little bit of time. So don't overload the marshmallows right away. So just bit by bit and just let them dissolve. It's almost ready. So now that the marshmallows have all been dissolved into the jello, you have more of like a thick, creamy consistency like this. It's completely opaque, and you want to remove that from the heat. You don't want to cook that any longer. Okay, so right now I'm going to take this, I'm going to cover it, and I'm going to put it into the refrigerator. Now I have to let this set for approximately two hours or so. You don't want the jello to get wiggly. You just want it to get it to a point where it's thick and creamy but it's not firm yet because what we're gonna do is once it sets into a soft set it's called a soft set once it goes into a soft set we're gonna mix in the Cool Whip and then the strawberries so this is gonna go into the refrigerator in the last few hours we'll kinda get put through the ringer I went to go find my springform pan and I realized that when I moved last year we must have ditched it and I didn't have one so I had to run out to Target to get a new one and of course Target did not have any so I walked over to Macy's, which is in the Target parking lot, and I got a springform pan. So what you'll need to mold one of these little bad boys is a springform pan. This is what it looks like. You can identify them because they have one of the little buckles on the side, and you unbuckle it, and then it releases. Now this is a really great... Ooh, it's what? What still? Because I washed it. This is a really great one because I got this from Martha Stewart, and it has a little lip on the bottom, which normally they don't. 
<clears throat> this way you can actually hold it from the bottom. Normally you can't hold these from the bottom because the bottom collapses. All right, so at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my strawberries and I'm going to dice them. Strawberry business, strawberry heaven. Da, da, da. I hope my brother Freddie appreciates the strawberryness that's happening. So at this point, your gelatin, let's see where I can get the light. The jello should kind of look like this, where it's not quite hard, but it's pretty set. Now you want to go ahead and take one package of Cool Whip. Now I'm using Cool Whip Light, but you can feel free to use fat free. You can feel free to use fat free or regular. And I left my Cool Whip out for about a half hour so it was nice and soft. It could actually be a little bit softer, but it's all right just like this. And what you want to do is go ahead and mix that Cool Whip, that whole thing, the Cool Whip, right into the Jello. Okay, so you want to just go ahead and take that and mix that up. You may have to get a whisk for this, which I think I'm going to have to. I'm getting that feeling. I'm going to get a whisk. Okay, I'm going to take a whisk. I'm going to whisk this through. Okay, so it should look like this. Really like a nice baby pink. So at this point, this is when you're going to add the strawberries. I'm just going to mix up the strawberries. This is when we're going to go to our springform pan. So you're going to take your package of lady fingers, open it up, and they come in four of these here. So what we're gonna do is first line the sides of the springboard pan like this. Really not leave any gaps in there. So now that the, the whole side all the way around is lined, you wanna take some more of these lady fingers and you just wanna line the bottom. Now you're gonna have to break some up at this point because they're not perfectly they don't fit in there perfectly, so I just go ahead and I take them like this. And I break them up just so they're mainly in there. But it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't want to pile them up too high though. You just want to get as many squished onto the bottom as possible without starting to pile up the lady fingers. So then at this point it should look like this. So what we're going to do now is take the mixture of the mousse and then pour it into the middle. Slowly Put it in. So what you can do at this point, if you want, see when my mom used to make this, what she used to do is take the mousse and put one strawberry in the middle and then fold them all around that. Put you right in the middle, just like that. Just thinly slice some other strawberries. And what I do is I just kind of layer them around like this. Just to kind of cover the top. It doesn't really have to be anything perfect, just oops. Oopsies. Just something that kind of looks pretty to you. So that's it guys, that's my whole strawberry mousse. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like this video, please go ahead, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and please try out this mousse, it's absolutely amazing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.